Hi everyone, welcome back to Roll the Credits. My name is Hannah and this is a channel for everyone who loves film, TV and pop culture. Today we are going to talk about the most exciting night of the year for any film fan, the Academy Awards. As the Oscars are tomorrow, I thought I'd share with you my predictions of who's going to win and who I actually want to win. If you have any conflicting opinions about this, then let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any more videos. I won't go through every single category because there are some categories where I haven't filmed, seen any of the films. So like the documentary, the animation, and short films, I haven't really like watched any of those films. So we're doing the big ones. So yeah, let's get into the Oscar prediction. We're gonna start off with the best actress nominations. So the nominees are Yalitza Aparicio from Roma, Glenn Close from The Wife, Olivia Coleman from The Favourite, Lady Gaga from A Star Is Born, and of course Melissa McCartney from Can You Ever Forgive Me. Genuinely think that the girl from Roma is going to win. Me personally, I got through about 20 minutes of the film and I didn't really enjoy it in that sense. I also feel that considering she's not actually an actress, I don't really know how I feel about her winning such a pristine award, especially considering Glenn Close is one of those people who has been nominated a gazillion times but never won. And if she doesn't win tomorrow night, she is gonna be like the actress with the most nominees and the least number of wins. And by least I mean like zero wins, which would be such a shame. However, I don't really feel that her role and her performance in The Wife is worthy of an award. I just really feel that Lady Gaga's performance in A Star Is Born is subliminal. And yeah, she definitely deserves the nomination and I wouldn't be disappointed if she wins. Going on to the male counterpart of Best Actress, we're gonna go to Best Actor and the nominees are Christian Bale for Vice, Bradley Cooper, A Star Is Born, Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate, Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. Now I have my favorite in this category. I genuinely thought that Green Book was a fantastic film and Viggo Mortensen is pretty damn good in that role. He did that role so freaking well. I didn't get around to watch Eternity's Gate. I really wish I had had time to watch that because it does look like quite a decent film. I really do not want Rami Malek to win. I don't think he deserves it. It's a little bit overhyped, his performance. I think Rami Malek is gonna win, but I hope for Viggo Mortensen or Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper is like my backup option. I would be very happy if he won as well. Going into Best Supporting Actress. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with like three of the nominations here. Uh, I've only watched two of the films and two of the other films I didn't really get time to watch. Amy Adams from Vice, Marina de Tavira from Roma, Regina King from If Beale Street Could Talk, Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz from The Favourite. The people I don't really feel were worthy of the nominations is Rachel, Emma and Amy Adams. I don't really feel that Amy Adams's performance in Vice was outstanding in any way. Like she's done some incredible work in the past and I just feel it would have been better if she was nominated and won for those performances rather than for this one. Regarding the favorite and Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz, again, I didn't really feel that they were like the strongest of performances. Even then, I think out of like Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz, I'd probably rather go for Rachel Weisz because I do rank her a little bit stronger than Emma Stone. The other two, I didn't get through either of the films. Roma, I just didn't watch. Um, and If Feel Street Could Talk, didn't have time to watch it. I really wanted to see it in the cinema and I just didn't have time to go to the cinema and see it. But from what I've seen of Regina King in If a Beale Street Could Talk was really, really good. And so I guess that's my prediction of who I want to win. And I think that either Emma Stone or Rachel Weisz is like the ones who will win. Best Supporting Actor. Now here is one that I have like already decided who I really want to win. But the five nominees are Mahershala Ali from Green Book, Adam Driver from Black Clans, Sam Elliott from A Star Is Born, Richard E. Grant from Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Sam Rockwell from Vice. I 
absolutely loved Richard E. Grant in Can You Ever Forgive Me? And he has been in the front running for quite a long time. I want him to win, but my prediction is that Mahershala Ali is going to pick it up and he would be so deserving of it because he is absolutely fantastic in Green Book. So yeah, it's really hard to predict who is gonna win when it's such a solid year of film. Best original screenplay. So the nominated films are The Favourite, First Reformed, Green Book, Vice and Roma. Here I think, I was reading a couple of like predictions lists and someone was like, oh yeah, but Roma is such a fantastic story, but I just couldn't get through it. It's not, I don't like social realism films. That's my issue with it. I just don't feel it's very strong script to like pull me in. Now I genuinely thought The Vice was a very clever film. It was very cleverly written and just like it was just a stellar film in general. I really did enjoy it. I also, my favourite of like all of the Oscar nominees is Green Book. Yeah, I just thought the Green Book was such a good story and it just gripped me all the way through. I was surprised at how good it was and I'm not one who take reviews and criticism and take them to heart and like makes that makes me dislike a film. So despite all the criticism and despite the bad things that some of the filmmakers have actually said and done, I still think that the film is a really good piece of cinema and that is what I stand by. The other three nominees, as I said, Roma, First Reformed and The Favourite. I haven't seen First Reformed, it's one of those films I just didn't get time to watch which really pisses me off because I don't like doing predictions without having watched everything because it doesn't make me feel that I have the right like evidence to prove my opinions. But I also feel that no one's really talked about First Reformed, so I don't think it is one of the front runners. I predict that either The Favourite or Roman's gonna win, but I would probably rather see Green Book winning. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Best Adapted Screenplay! A Star Is Born, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Clansman, If Beale Street Could Talk, and Can You Ever Forgive Me? To be honest, I didn't think Can You Ever Forgive Me was a spectacular film in any way. I think that the performances just kind of carried it. Frick Ben loved A Star Is Born. A Star Is Born is possibly one of the best films I saw last year. It 100% deserves to win. I did see Black Klansman and I really liked Black Klansman. It was very different to what I expected, but it was incredibly good. If Beale Street could talk, I didn't really get through it and The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, I didn't actually watch. So I can't really voice my opinions on them. But I do believe that A Star is going to win and that is the one that I'm hoping for too. On to Best Cinematography where I've actually just seen three of the films. The nominees are The Favourite, Never Look Away, Roma, A Star is Born and Cold War. I think that and I predict that Roma is going to win this one because it is a very different film. It's very particular in its ridiculously long panning shots, very much social realism, not really showing any spectacular movements in that way. It's just like a lot of panning shots. And I think that the Oscars, the Academy likes when people like do things a little bit more experimental, which isn't even experimental. It's just a really old way of making films which I think is kind of boring, but we're not gonna, we're not here to trash Roma, are we? Also think that the favorite is probably in the front running of this because it is so incredibly different to any other film. A lot of, a lot of weird GoPro shots, stunning like visuals of like the queen walking down the corridor. So it does have fantastic cinematography, even to the point where I kind of believe that it should win. Uh, don't know if I actually wanted to win, but I haven't really watched any other, other films and I don't think that A Star Is Born is worthy of the cinematography nominee. I'm not too impressed with the cinematography this year and that is my opinion on that. Best original song and I am so torn between the two front runners, which I think are the front runners. It's the only two songs I've listened to. Maybe I should listen to uh, the other three. Let me do a really quick listen. Okay, I'm now listening to all the other songs and I'm still standing by the fact that The Place Where Lost Things Go and Shallow are the front runners. The ones that I really want to win. Where The Lost Things Go is the most 
precious of the two songs and shallow is just a belter like you literally you just want to sing it really out loud i think shallow is gonna win but i personally i probably would go with where the last things go because it's just such a beautiful song and then we're going to go to the last two categories that I am going to cover in this video and it is best director and best film. So the five nominees, the male nominees for best director are Alfonso Cuaron. I don't know if I pronounced that wrong. I, I probably did. Yargos Lantimos, Spike Lee, Adam McKay and Pavel Pavlikovsky. So that is for Roma, The Favourite, Black Clansman, Vice and Cold War. I have watched three and a half of these films and I'm just like so torn. I know for sure that I don't want Yorgos Lanthimos to win. I wasn't too impressed by The Favourite. He is very experimental in his ways and it is very creative and very artsy. So in that way it does deserve it. And that is probably my prediction is for him to win it. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna say that I want Adam McKay to win for Vice. Because as I said with the script, it's just such a witty, witty way of making a film like this. It's a true story and they kind of just make it. It's just fantastic. After 20 minutes, the credits start rolling. And I was so confused. I had to Google if that was a thing or if I just like went in and watched the wrong film. I was so confused, but it was just so fantastically well done. And I just, really enjoyed it so please don't shoot me for liking vice i'm just that type of person also can't wait for more future female filmmakers to be nominated for these awards because it's getting really fucking boring watching all these men get nominated and now we're going to the last but the biggest and the most prestigious award of them all best picture and the nominees are black Panther, Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favourite, Roma, Green Book, A Star Is Born and Vice. Now throughout this video I have said which were my favourite films and my least favourite films so I'm just gonna put it out there. Personally I would want to see A Star Is Born or Green Book to win. They are my these films should win and I would be very happy if they did win. I think that either The Favourite or Roma is going to win and those are both films that I didn't really enjoy watching. So yeah, I have my fingers crossed for Green Book and A Star Is Born. So yeah, those are my Oscars predictions and who I want to win and versus who I think will win. Please let me know down below what you thought and if you do agree or disagree with anything that I said. Please don't hate me, it's just my opinion and I this is just the type of cinema and films that I enjoy watching. That is all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you subscribe down below and also give this video a thumbs up. We make videos on Roll the Credits and upload them every single Saturday at about 4 30 UK time in the afternoon so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them uh that is the end of the video I don't know what else to say but roll the credits